Good evening, Zero K fans, and welcome to Nanolids at Dawn. This is Shadow Fury 333 with another series of exhibition matches. And also a bit of an announcement, which I probably should have mentioned last week, but hey, might as well. There is a tournament. There's a tournament coming up. Sortail is organizing a tournament. I'm not sure if this is going to be a new series, but it is starting out with a 2v2 tournament. It'll be a Swiss round followed by a bracket round for everyone in the top four of the Swiss. And that'll be going on next Saturday, April 2nd at 10 a.m. UTC. So sign up for that in the forums. It is 2v2, so you will need a partner. I'm pretty sure partners can be kind of found in the thread. People are kind of looking for partners there. So don't worry if you're alone. You'll find someone, pair up, and then go for it. But that's next week. This week is going to be a few exhibition matches, starting with Ball of Doom versus RAR on Ackland Wastelands. And that's pause. Okay, so Ball of Doom going for Gunship Plant. RAR going for the Clickabot Factory. And... I feel like Rar is going to try to play something a bit more normal today. Because Akalon Wastelands is not a map that really allows for commander movement too much. I mean, it's a slow and steady thing, I suppose. You could do it. And Ball of Doom is the one going for the gunship plant. If Rar went for gunships, that would make more sense. But I think Rar is going to try to play it a bit more conservative, a bit more economical. Not trying to do the whole commander push thing they normally do. But we'll see. Ball of Doom, on the other hand, going for a pretty typical starting rush up. I mean, blasting at the start to scout out, see if they can burn anything down, and then a Banshee afterwards to get information and possibly destroy what's there. And I realized last game that I saw with gunships going on, I was kind of complaining about, you know, gunships not being used as a trick. Was a bit corrected as the fact that gunships are still useful for getting information, and a good information economy and position advantage is, while not necessarily game winning in the moment, a very powerful advantage. Not one to be taken lightly. And Ball of Doom about to get in. Rar, I believe, did see that Banshee come in, but they will definitely see it now. Should be able to get rid of this Metal Extractor, maybe get rid of a couple more Wind Generators too. Rar right now, their economy is okay. It's a little bit ahead of Ball of Doom's, actually. Ball of Doom, however, cheating out an expansion over to the Northeast and just getting away with that Banshee. Checking all the Metal Extractors, making sure that nothing has been cheated out. Well, not really cheated out, this is the main base, but nothing is getting done without Ball of Doom knowing. And indeed, there isn't anything really being done without Ball of Doom knowing. Ball of Doom not paying attention to that Banshee, though. The warrior that just just been built could get rid of it. Is Ball of Doom going to keep this alive? And, well, looks like, yeah, one more Metal Extractor could be going down. Warrior is out of position. Although, that Metal Extractor is going to be the last one to go down. The Banshee just barely, they have, yeah, they're just barely avoiding it. Getting out of there. Good harassment, though. Rar at 4.5 metal. Wow, Rar's just on commander income. And they have nothing in storage. Very good start for Ball of Doom. And they have three metal extractors just hidden off to the side. Rar has not found them yet. Trying to wait for a more direct expansion to see when that happens. But nope. That's not the case. They've already... They lost it. The, that horse has left the barn already. That's a weird analogy. I don't know why I used it. But it makes sense. It's like... So don't close the barn door for the horses have left or something like that. It's an old expression that you don't hear anymore because no one farms anymore, which is fine. I mean, we don't need everyone farming anymore. That's kind of the foundation of modern society is that people have a bunch of different jobs and not just 90% of the population is farming and the other 10% are overfed nobility. That seems like a better way of setting things up. <laughs> well, I guess it would be if the game decided to actually, you know, act... I'm going to look and get in more RAM. I think the issue is a lack of RAM. If you're wondering about the lockups, that's what I think the problem is. I'm going to look into that. Eventually, I do want to get a better CPU, but that means getting a new motherboard and getting even more RAM, and that's not money I want to spend at the moment if I don't have to. But anyway, Ball of Doom right now, doing just fine. The only thing Ball of Doom is missing is energy. They are building solar collectors, but on this map, you can really get away with wind generators in the main base. Like, really get away with them. I think wind generators are... Like, yeah, 0 0.7. Yeah, there's no reason to build solars in the main base in this. And Rar knows that. Rar has a couple solars just for security because they do have gunships potentially coming in. But as far as Ball of Doom knows, Rar's not going for anything in the air. So Ball of Doom can just build at their main base, build up wind generators, just set all that up and it'd be great. They aren't doing so, though. However, they are expanding like mad. I mean, Ball of Doom, they're just getting way ahead right now. Rar has barely got two metal extractors going, and Ball of Doom 
just about has the entire northeast side of the map. Getting the southwest side of the map. This is working pretty well. So Ball of Doom is... Actually, they just free... Okay, they freed up the expansion. Their natural expansion is freed up. They can expand there whenever they like. Doubt they're going to anytime soon, but if they wanted to, they could. And Rara's Warrior is not really doing much. They're not expanding too much. Obviously, he's still worried about the Banshees, and they're right to be. More Banshees are incoming, but really, at this point, Ball of Doom just hasn't cared. Like, they've... How many Banshees do they have? They have, what, three, four... Five. Okay, no, no, the fifth is under production. So they had four in play when I said that. Yeah, they aren't really going for harassment. They're just trying to keep pressure, just enough pressure on RAR that RAR won't put pressure on them. And that's working really well. I mean, look at what Ball of Doom has. Ball of Doom's got everything. I, I gotta say, this is a great way to go about it. And one Banshee going... That's the first Banshee death, too. This harassment's been pretty efficient, honestly. And now Ball of Doom with three times the or four times the economy, just about. Rar once again trying to get another glaive just to check the natural expansion. I don't know if Ball of Doom is ever going to build metal extractors here. Probably late game, maybe, but at this point, they've been going way off to the side to build their expansions. They have not. Like, Ball of Doom has not gone for the natural expansion. They haven't done anything normal. That's cool. I like to see that. And Flores is wondering if Rar is the new Gota. I wouldn't say so. Rar is just Rar has been playing a lot, so I mean they might eventually become the new Gota just for experience and practice and doing a lot of things. But Rar's thing is more just commanders. They love to use the commander. It's not obvious this game, because in this game, on this map, they probably figure, well, it's too big for me to do a commander push. But that's their thing. Like their thing is commanders. That's how they play. Typically. Commanders or gunships. They aren't usually ones to go for massive economic strategies, and in this case, they kind of have to. Akalan Wastelands is an economic map. Should be fairly obvious for the sheer amount of metal extractors and the size of the thing. It's very pretty. It's actually an Evolution RTS map that was based off of a StarCraft map, the StarCraft 2 map, I believe, and then stripped down of a bunch of prettiness and put into zero K. I kind of wish, because there was actually the proper map that was actually from Evolution RTS. I'm pretty sure it's not this one that was put in a 0k with all the features and everything. And I would kind of like that one to be the map that's played rather than this one. But this one is still a pretty good map design-wise. It's just, I, I don't know. I like Forb. I don't really want to piss him off more than necessary. Like, Forboding Angel is a guy who develops Evolution RTS. And, I mean, I, I see their point. They're, this map, like... Having it stripped down is kind of disappointing. Especially given how much effort they put into prettifying things. And as anyone who watches my cast knows, I like pretty. I like when things are prettified. Barren stuff doesn't quite appeal to me. At any rate, Ball of Doom... I mean, they could transition into anything they want. If they don't want to go for air, and they are still apparently going for air, so they're not going to worry too much about these units here. I mean, it's... Yeah, really not much. In like three three gremlins, four warriors here, five gremlins, seven warriors in total. Not really a concern. I mean, given the amount of economy that Ball of Doom has compared to RAR. And is RAR sorry, Ball of Doom, are they gonna finally take this natural expansion? I don't think so. I think that crane's just hanging out there, maybe building defenses. But maybe, maybe they'll build it then. So RAR. Still get, trying to get their economy. They're still struggling. They're still really struggling. And nice Black Dawn shot there. Guard of a Gremlin and a Warrior. Pretty good. At no cost to the Black Dawn, which is always good. And not paying attention to the Banshee. Why are you going towards there, Ball of Doom? That's a dead Banshee. That's That's not how it goes. It's a great way to get a Banshee dead. And is that another Warrior Dawn? That's another Warrior down. This Black Dawn's doing a... That's, it's doing a number on this force. Yeah, I don't see Ball of Doom switching out from Gunship at all. They have a massive mobility advantage as a result. And although they just lost the Black Dawn, they are still doing pretty well for themselves. I mean, that was lost in their territories. So they can just get a crane to it and it's no problem. And the Brawlers are presenting a problem. RAR doesn't really have much to deal with this. And they don't have a lot of economy to change strategy easily. 
Gotta say, the Warriors were a good move. The Brawler is definitely a good counter move, but against the Banshees, the Warriors are a really good move. It's just the economy. The economy difference is so huge that it's almost impossible for Rodder to do anything other than go for gunship or plane themselves and then try to harass out all these naked expansions. Because a gun for a gunship player, these are naked. Yeah, for a Klogibot player, there's obviously the gates protected by defenders. But for a gunship player or an air player, this is open. It's wide open. But Rar doesn't have the money to easily transition. They'd have to essentially stop production of the Klokibot factory, then switch to gunship, then go around the map rip apart, ripping apart all of the economy, and then be able to get rid of the brawlers. Now, of course, if you tridents, that would help get rid of the brawlers, but still, that's going to be a tough thing to do. And I don't think they're going to do it. I think they're going to stick to Cloaky. They are starting to morph the commander, which I don't really know for what purpose, but we'll see. If the name is to be believed, it's Missile Launchers. And if that's the case, then I guess we'll be seeing... Yeah, Missile Launcher. Okay. I guess that'll work fairly well for Antier. But I don't really know how that's going to work out. It's really a question of speed and a question of positioning. And RAR just does not have the positioning advantage. Ball of Doom can go wherever they want, pretty much. Not much is there to restrict that. And ouch, right into the water. But yeah, not much is there to restrict that. Ball of Doom can basically have free reign. And RAR just has to play catch-up the entire time. They have no easy way of getting around. This map is so huge, it's way too big to easily get around with just Cloaky Bots. At least not to get a decent economy going. I'm really wondering if Ball and Doom has any transition plans beyond what they have so far. Are they going to go for a Crow? Or a Strider Hub? Or I mean, a Crow would make a lot of sense. But it looks like Mass Brawlers is what they're going to do. There's no real transitions out of this, just Mass Brawler until win. I feel like this is going to get punished somehow. Gremlins, I'm pretty sure, in large enough numbers, do counter brawlers. And I'm not sure. Rar clearly trying to get a bunch of glaives around. I think they're trying to just harass, trying to see what's going on. Send glaives around to figure out, okay, where has Ball of Doom built? Where can I go? What can I attack? And the answer is nothing. The answer is they built everywhere and you can't attack any of it. And yeah, Gremlins, I believe, can kite. Gremlins can kite, right? Oh, not really, no. Nice dodging, though. I mean, that's on fight move, I'm guessing. But still. Oh, no, it's not. That's just being manually controlled. Really? Wow. That's pretty impressive. However, that also means that Rar is not paying attention to the rest of the map, which is where another brawler attack is happening. And really, there's only so much the gremlins can do. Like, in large enough numbers, the gremlins do well against brawlers. These are not large enough numbers. And especially when you consider the economy difference, there's no easy way for Rar to get out of this. Especially not as Cloaky. I mean, if they went for a gunship plant themselves, went for Tridents, at least got Ball of Doom to have to think about what they're going to do and not just be able to just run around the map without any care in the world. If that was the case, then yeah, it would be no problem. But it's not. It's really not the case. Ball of Doom just doesn't care. Mass Brawler's everywhere. They're not even going for a crow, just Mass Brawler, because that's working. It's like, get enough Brawlers and the Gremlins don't work. I mean, this is a, what, 1,200? No, 3,000 metal worth of Brawlers compared to 300 metal worth of Gremlins. I mean, if there was maybe 10 times as many Gremlins, this might go differently. But not with this many. Not with two. Or three, I guess. And Commander, once again, more for range, armor, and maybe it'll help. Brawler's coming around the side. Moment of truth here for the Commander. How is this going to work, Rar? Or is it going to work? Oh, double missile launcher. Not a bad idea. When you're dealing with all this air, but still, that... Uh, 4,600 health, but the gunships can go behind the terrain. That's the problem. This cliff is essentially open. As you can see, the brawlers just have no problem dealing with that, so... So much for that. I mean, like I said, it's really a question of positioning and a question of speed. RAR doesn't really have the advantage on either. I think one of the brawlers will probably go down ultimately to this commander. I mean, it's taking a lot of damage. How much damage is it taking per shot? Yeah, like 200 damage a shot. So there's that one brawler down. Although, once again, into the water, so no easy way for that to get reclaimed. Another one into the water, but once again, no easy way for that, for that to be reclaimed. 
So a lot of these are dying, but it's not going to be giving Rar the economic parity or any reclaim to work with. They're constantly falling into the water. There's a Banshee earlier over there. A couple Brawlers down in the back. And finally a Brawler in the main base for some reclaim. But it's way too late. I mean, that's 304 metal reclaim, so that's five... Like, if you were to have economic parity, that'd be five seconds of economic parity for each Brawler. If it was reclaimed with, like, a dozen workers. Like, if a dozen Gondras were to reclaim these Brawlers, then you... Then Rar would be on par with Ball of Doom for, like I said... About five seconds per brawler, so about th fifteen seconds in total. Not happening. That's that's meant to sound unrealistic because it is. And no, oh, Dante coming in instead. No, okay, so brawler into Dante. Rather standard Strider strategy. And that's usually the Strider transition is Dante. Scorpion has been popular recently, but Dante is really the one that everyone goes for in one v one. I am kind of surprised that a crow is not the option because a Dante is going to take a couple minutes to get across the map. Whereas a crow would take about as long to build and would take far less time to get across the map. Actually, I'm probably being generous in a couple minutes. It's probably more like five minutes. I mean, this entire army is just done. How many brawlers are here? Ten brawlers, 7,600 metal worth of brawlers. I mean, that's a strider worth of brawlers right there. Pretty much. Giant swarm of machine gun strider. Gremlin's doing a remarkable job not dying quickly. But still, this is only working so well. I mean, a couple brawlers have gone down. These gremlins are actually doing well for themselves. They're punching above their weight, considering the considering the numbers difference here. I mean, they are anti-air. That's kind of the point. It's kind of their job. But still, I'm honestly impressed. Took out two or three brawlers out of that group. Dropped it down from like 11 or 12, ultimately, to about 9. Considering that there was about... A tenth of the cost of in brawlers in gremlins, like that's pretty impressive. If there was cost equality for gremlins on those brawlers, those brawlers would probably be dead. Like seventy six hundred metal worth, of, hey, air factory, but yeah, seventy six hundred metal worth of gremlins. I mean, they're one hundred fifty metal each, so that's sheesh. That's a lot of gremlins. Maybe like twenty four, twenty four gremlins, roughly like twenty six, maybe. Yeah, 26 gremlins. And Hawks over coming in here, which is definitely a good idea. A little bit late, but oh, of course, transports, silly me. Of course they do the transport, because it cuts down the travel time. There we go, that's the way to do it. Because I keep forgetting transports are a thing. Really handy thing, though. And the Hawks, finally... Coming in for a bit of anti-air. Unfortunately, not at the right position. Does Rar have radar? Rar does have radar. They do see this coming. They... Actually, I think I have visual on it now. The Hawks, way too late. At least they'll be able to get rid of the Brawler support force here. There's only as much the Brawlers can do. They're going to go down pretty quick. But unfortunately, the Dante in the main base. The only contender against it is the Commander. The Commander is... AWOL! Commander's gone out of the base completely. The Dante has free reign. Should be able to get rid of the air factory within a couple seconds. I mean, the brawler's being forced back. Getting torn to shreds, but it doesn't matter. Air factory's down. Dante's got free reign. The commander might be able to contend with it, but even then, it's half the HP. Probably has nowhere near the damage. How much damage does the thing deal? Okay, 80 per missile. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Man, if that hawk had hit... If that hawk, or that set of hawks had found the transports here sooner... Ooh, never mind. I guess there's only so many that can work. But if they had found that transport sooner, this Dante would not have been in quite as good of a position. Still in a really good position, but not quite as dominating. However, Ball of Doom just had the economic advantage the entire game. Gunships really do work wonders on a map this big. I'm not really sure what Rar could have done other than switch to gunships themselves. Or switch to air early. Just try to beat them in their own game. Although, to be fair... One thing that Rar did do, they sent they sent glaives around to the expansions. Good idea. Problem was, I don't think they considered the idea that Ball of Doom would expand beyond their natural. I think they expected Ball of Doom would expand in a typical fashion, like a typical ground-based fashion where you just go from the nearest metal extractor to the nearest me next metal extractor. And of course, Ball of Doom didn't do that. They didn't take this until near the end of the game. They took the northeast first, and then they took the southwest expansion. There were totally naked expansions. This one had a this one had this defender first. But still, 
one or two glaives that had gone over here instead of over to the natural or like one or two to the natural and another over here like glaives sent to every single expansion would have at least slowed down rar or sorry slowed down ball of doom's expansion attempts if not outright stopped them by killing the cranes because cranes are defenseless and they aren't that tough so it would have massively slowed it down if for no other reason they would have had to build static defenses and then rar would have gone oh hey that's what they are and started sending glaives over there i mean it would have been tough because they would have needed anti-air for the the Banshees, or if Ball of Doom had switched to Rapiers to get rid of the Glaives specifically, they would have had to deal with that too. So obviously they would have had to go for air pretty early anyway, but at least they would have slowed down the expansion and forced Ball of Doom to be a bit more honest about it. As it was, Ball of Doom just got away with a bunch of cheated out expansions, and that worked beautifully. But yeah, this map, this map, if you're going to play this map, play air. Air is your friend on this map. Sorry about that. Next game is going to be on Sever. Ball of Doom versus Orphelia's on Sever. I've been kind of curious about who Ball of Doom is or how they play. So I want to do a couple matches for them. They seem to be pretty solid, though. They seem to have a pretty solid style, or at least they have a solid style where they can get an economic advantage. They can hold the economic advantage. But let's see what they do on Sever. Sever's a totally different map. Considerably smaller, not as gunship friendly. We'll see how that goes when it happens. Until then, stay tuned. We'll be back in just a couple minutes.